Hey everyone, my name is Jax and I am a local realtor here in Boston, Massachusetts. I started my career doing rentals and since then I have been coined the queen of rentals at EXP. I get calls every day about um, how do I run my business? How do I get leads? How do I do the whole start to finish process? So I figured I'm just going to make a video and make it easy for you. So come with me and learn my process of how I get clients and get them into apartments. Let's go. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen with you and we will get going here. So first off, I work for eXp Realty. Um, so if you do work for eXp, um, you do get KV Core as part of your uh, $90 a month dues. Um, I typically go to company listings. I hit the price and the price. So we start the lowest price um, that is available. And I run through these and I look for um, properties that I want to rent. So um, I found, um, let's see, where was the one I wanted to share? Uh, my friend Megan has this gorgeous rebed in Dorchester. So I'm going to post this. Um, I already uh, looked on apartments.com. She's already got it up there. So we're going to post it directly to Facebook Marketplace. So I go to Facebook Marketplace. I create a listing. In Boston. Okay. Oh, sorry. You go to selling. <laughs> Create a new listing. Create a new listing. Okay. We are doing a place to rent. So I'm going to start by adding all of the photos. Um, let's see. So here are all the photos. We're going to upload those here. I like to start with some of the good ones first. Um, and then I put in the info about the property. Um, it's an apartment. They're asking for 4,100. Always want to tri triple check. <laughs> uh, there is um, shared bathrooms. Uh, it is not furnished. There are three beds, two baths. Um, 63 Dorchester is the address. Um, okay. Um, usually like to copy and paste the listing and put it in here. Um, this is available. June 1st. In unit. Um, let's see, is there any parking? There is no parking. Um, pets are welcome. So we're going to put pet friendly and go from there and publish. So this is one of the ways that I can get free leads from um, company listings. You can always go through MLS and look up um, rentals in your area. So I am in the back bay. So if I wanted to look up rentals, um, and let's just but um, let's say I wanted to look up just one beds, right? So there's 40 available. Now, because of the nature of this business, what I would do is I would reach out to agents whose properties I liked, and then I would ask them if I could post their rentals on um, my social platform. So I could 
put it on Facebook Marketplace, or I could put it up on my Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube channel. So that's one way that you can get free leads. Now let's talk about once you've received a lead. So I like to use um, Google Streak. It is a Google Chrome extension. And what I like about this product is that it has all these features. So I could insert a video. Um, I could add things to my toolbox. Um, but mainly what I like about it is you can see when somebody has read your email and it has these snippets. So when somebody comes to me with um, a request to do a rental showing for them or to work with me, I have all these things. So if somebody's reaching out, these are the main questions I want to know. How many bedrooms are you looking for? How many people are going to live in the unit? What is your status? Are you a student or a full-time or part-time employee? Where do you work or go to school? What is the budget of your rental apartment? What's the move-in date? What kind of lease length are you looking for? And what are your most desired neighborhoods? Do you have any pets? Are you already working with an agent? And what's the best phone number to reach you at? I also have this handy dandy guide to what to expect when renting in Boston. It is a link to my YouTube. So people can check that out to kind of gauge what's going on in the rental scene here in Boston. Because if you're not from Boston, it's kind of like the Wild West. Um, if you don't already know, most landlords are expecting that tenants pay first, last security and broker's fee which is all one month. So they expect four months of moving costs up front. And a lot of people that aren't from Boston are very shocked by this. And they're shocked by the prices and the quality and the amount of inventory in our city. So these are all things that you really want to get across to your client the moment you get that person's contact. You, run, you want to really make sure that person understands what they're getting themselves into. Once they've given me all this info, I go to my handy dandy YGL, you got listings. If you're not already part of this platform, I highly recommend you go get it. Our agency, um, somebody purchased a team account. So we only have to pay $58 a month. Otherwise you're paying 50, um, I'm sorry, we're paying $58 a year. Otherwise you'd be paying $50 a month as an individual. So they saved us um, over $500. A year. So that being said, you're going to put in your client's name, their email, their phone number. Um, and then, you know, sometimes I like to tag them. This was a referral. And then usually what I do is I just copy and paste the answers that they gave me from the email directly here because not only is YGL a tool for um, showing you what's available in terms of property inventory, but it's also a CRM. It's going to hold all of this data. So I'll put in all of their answers here. And once I have all those answers, I'll be able to fill all these little buckets out. Let's see. Stuff in here. Okay. So Jax only wants to live in the back bay. Okay. She's unwilling to look anywhere else. So she better have a big budget. <laughs> um, she is open to studios and one plus even two, um, but she can't spend more than $4,000. So um, she's, uh, her movement is flexible. She's willing to move from now until September 1st. Um, she does not have any pets, which does make it a lot easier around here to find a place. And I'm going to look for places that own, that have photos. I hate seeing listings without photo, photos. I don't even want to go there. So we want her to get email matches for all the new listings that come up within her criteria. Once you save that, now she has a profile. Now you're going to scroll down to recommended listings. You don't have any set up yet, so you want to add those. So there are actually 78 properties um, that match her criteria. Now, um, personally, I've worked with some of these um, 
listing agents. And if they, if I've had bad interactions with my clients living at people's properties, I'm definitely going to be a little weary on sending them those properties. Um, another thing that I like to do is I'll go through people's reviews and check out the management companies. And then I'll send those reviews to my clients and say like, if you still want to view this property after seeing this um, set of reviews, you know, if it's just one, everybody can get a bad review here or there. But if you consistently have a one star on Yelp and you're a property management company, there's probably something going on. So I do like to kind of filter these out, go through them. You know, if there's a property that has more than one, um, you know, this is two, I might do all of them. You could just select all. I'm just going to do that just to show you. So now Jax has 78 properties that she can look at. So I'm going to scroll down here and open her public link. And now she's going to see all of my contact info. So you are very much branded everywhere. Um, however, once you click into the listing, you will see that this was listed by somebody else. So we are in compliance here in this website, um, but now Jax has the ability to go through all of these listings and see which ones she wants to book with me. So once she's decided which properties that she's interested in seeing and on what days, I'm going to ask for her application. Um, right now in Boston, it is really challenging to find people properties. And once you can even get in the door, if you don't have an application in hand, you're likely to lose that listing um, to another applicant. So I won't do tours for clients until they have a full application. Um, so what that's going to look like is... Um, you're going to want to show them, you're going to want to ask them for their photo ID. So a driver's license and a state ID or a passport. You're going to need to see their credit report. I usually ask my clients to pull it themselves just so that I don't have to pull it. Um, I'm trying to avoid my clients paying any additional fees as possible. So my company does not pull credit. So we don't ask people, um, we don't, pull credit for anyone. So um, I have people do it through TransUnion, Experian, or Credit Karma. Those typically have been um, the easiest to work with for other brokerages when you submit these applications. You're also going to want to show proof of employment. Landlords want to see that you're making three times the monthly rent um, and maybe a little bit more so that you have a safety net in case something happens. Um, or a letter of employment, you can show bank statements. Um, or if you're a student, you're going to want to show your class schedule. So uh, then we're going to put in the application. And then you're going to send them a broker fee and a wiring fraud uh, document. These are both um, disclosures for your clients. I typically, you know, show them these once we have a property in mind, but I want to make sure the application is ready. So I have um, the Greater Boston Real Estate Board application all ready to go with my signature. So when the clients have sent me all this, they are going to pull up this rental application. It's ready to go. They're going to send it back to me and then we'll be ready to apply to any property. So then we go on the tour. We tour the property they love it. Um, and then I apply. So you're going to send the other agent, all of these line items. Um, and then you're going to wait and see what happens. Now, I will say that um, right now in Boston, it can be challenging to get your applications accepted if you don't have high credit score and great income and sometimes even a cosigner. Um, 
And in some cases, people are offering over ask for apartments. I once showed a two bed in Beacon Hill that was listed for 3000. It rented for 3,600. That's the state we are in, in, in terms of rentals in Boston. So it is highly competitive. Also, that being said, you want to make great relationships with the other agents. Um, you want to make sure you do your job as well as possible. You make it as easy as possible for them to get the applications. You want to be speedy about communications with them and just make sure the process goes super smoothly. So once your client gets accepted, yay, they're going to need all of those payments and you're going to receive a standard lease. Um, here, we'll go back here. So let's look at what the standard Boston um, lease looks like. Okay, so I'm in Boston, so I use the Greater Boston Real Estate Board um, applications and the standard leases. So that is that. Here's your broker fee. Um, you know, I'm going to want to put the landlord requires that the tenant pays one month um, in the amount of X to EXP Realty and blah, 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 other brokerage. And then everybody's going to sign it. You put your license number. This is a standard uh, fixed term apartment lease. So this is pretty much what I see 90% of the time. All the stuff is going to get filled out. And then you're going to have to get it signed and initialed by your clients. Typically, the the listing agent's going to send you this and then you're going to pass it on to your, your tenants. They're going to pay all of the fees. And then once those fees are paid, they're going to get this back signed by the landlord. Now, the other thing that is important to note is if the home is older than 1968, you do need to get a lead law in there. So you're going to send them the tenant lead law notification. So, you know, whether or not the landlord knows if there is lead paint or not, and then they're going to initial that they have received or have not received documents. Everyone's going to sign, date, bing, bang, boom. Um, and then once all of that is done the and the landlord is signed and payments have been delivered, you have yourself an executed lease. So um, I think that's it. I don't, that's pretty much all the process. I post anything that I have myself, any listings that I have, I'm going to post them on my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Um, I want to get as many eyes on those properties as possible. Um, in MLS, it'll show you agents who have clients that match those property criteria. I'm going to reach out to all those agents. Hey, have you come and checked out our property? Does this match? Is your client still looking? I want to get my property rented immediately, especially with the state we're in. Um, I recently had a fully furnished unit for $7,000 that included all utilities, parking, outdoor space, and cleaning service. I got it rented in 14 days. Um, even though um, most people on Facebook were tearing the listing apart because it was so expensive, there are people looking for properties like that here. Um, so that is basically my full tutorial on how to do a rental here in Boston. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a comment below, um, send me a DM, shoot me a text, call, email, whatever you want to do. I am happy to help. And if you'd like to join me at EXP and the Wolfpack, and I can show you how you can make 80% commission off of all of these rentals and get stock options and revenue share from bringing other agents to this great company. I would love to help and share all my experiences with all of you. So I hope you have a great day and I hope this was helpful and I will see you soon.